Coming up, the City of Arasa plans for public input on its 2015 fiscal budget. And find out what you can do to have your voice heard at County Commission meetings. We'll have these stories and more. Your News by Arasa starts now. Welcome to News Valdosta. I'm Andrea Bonaparte. And I'm Ashley Morrison. A public hearing will be held next week at the City Hall in the Council Chambers. This hearing will take place on June 10th and June 11th at 5.30 p.m. Any person who would like to be heard regarding the proposed fiscal year 2015 City of Valdosta budget is encouraged to attend. A second public hearing will be held on June 29th at 5.30 p.m with the pur purpose of adopting the fiscal year 2015 city budget. Citizens wishing to be heard is a new county policy designed to help determine the agenda for Lowndes County Board of Commissioners. Citizens that would like to address the commission can now fill out a citizens wishing to be heard form. The forms will be provided at the start of each commission chamber meeting, but can also be found online. Though forms can be submitted for review, citizens may request to meet privately with their respective commissioner by contacting the county. One summer can increase your chances of developing skin cancer. However, there are some ways to avoid excessive sun rays. Reporter Stephanie Sloan has more on the story. Skin cancer can happen among any age group, but it is more common to happen as you get older if you do not take the proper precautions now. Skin cancer is the most common form of cancer found in those ages 20 to 29. Once you've experienced sun damage, it is really difficult to completely erase it. However, prevention is possible. Sunscreen every day decreases the chance of skin cancer. And you want to make sure that you wear sunscreen daily. If you're going to be out in it to wear, you know, a pretty water resistant form that's going to protect you when you sweat or when you're in the pool or the beach. And as part of the, you know, everybody should watch their skin for newer changing moles, particularly those at higher risk. So lighter skinned people, redheads, people that freckle, blue eyes, those are people that are at higher risk for skin cancer. But everyone should watch their skin. Apply the sunscreen adequately, usually a shot glass full of sunscreen to cover exposed parts of the arms, legs, face, and hands. Uh, I usually put this on my face because you know, sun will increase wrinkles and stuff like that, so I don't really worry about my t face getting tan or anything like that. I want to keep my skin healthy and stuff. Most clothing will have a SPF built into it for the fact that it covers the skin. It is recommended to wear light-colored, loose-fitting, long sleeve pants or sleeves. It will help you stay fairly cool. In words of Dr. Cole, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. With News of Aldosta, I'm Stephanie Salone. Moody Air Force Base is working with private industry to improve the base's supply chain. Pepsi Corporation Supply Chain Supervisor Rick Walker met with base officials last week to introduce new ideas and methods and also compare the logistics processes. Walker meeting with Colonel Jeffrey Decker of the 23rd Maintenance Group also covered new equipment and software. On Monday, Moody Air Force Base, Fort Benning, and Hunter Army Airfield began conducting a joint training exercise. Nearly 800 soldiers are participating in the training, and it will last until June 13th. Units engaged in the training include the 1st Battalion, the 75th Ranger Regiment, the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, and the Air Force Special Operations Command. To create a more realistic exercise, training ammunition, helicopters, and fixed-wing aircraft will be used. June is National Safety Month, and the theme of the first week is awareness of prescription drug abuse. Reporter Camille Ralston has our story. Xanax-related ER visits have doubled nationally in the past six years, and this week the National Safety Council is boosting awareness for prescription drug abuse. Prescription drug abuse is on the rise so much so that the CDC has classified the abuse as an epidemic. Prescription drugs are the second most abused category of drugs after marijuana, and professionals in our community have noticed the effects of the addiction. Once you're addicted to something, once you get on a medication, 
you have the physical withdrawal, but you also have the psychological withdrawal. And when you're dealing with prescription drugs, they're obviously very prevalent on the street, but a lot of people can walk into their doctor's office and say, you know what, my back's really hurting me again, and get some more prescription pain meds. Jeremy Pate of Treatment Centers of America recognizes the importance of education in addressing this epidemic. Anytime you have a, a substance, be it, be it alcohol, be it uh, street drugs, be it prescription pain medication, there's going to be the potential for abuse. So all we can do, all the medical uh, professionals can do, is be as educated as possible about it and as educated as possible about recognizing the possible signs and symptoms of someone who is abusing these drugs. June will continue with other themes throughout National Safety Month. With News Valdosta, I'm Camille Ralston. Children in Valdosta will be fed lunch every day at Azalea Woods, Brittany Woods, Woodstone, Hyde Park, and Deliverance Church. The program is intended to feed kids in the neighborhoods of Valdosta. The program will run through the whole summer break. All kids in the city of Valdosta are welcome to join. No registration fees are required. When we come back, we'll tell you how you can protect yourself from those annoying mosquitoes. And does your child need plans for the summer? All of this and more when we return. Stay with us. There are a million places you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the texts, and together we can stop the wrecks. What will you find at Valdosta State University? Challenging academics. Innovative hands-on experience. Over 100 fields of study. Engagement in a vibrant community. Caring mentors and friends. Service and leadership opportunities. Championship athletics. The full university experience. At Valdosta State University. Welcome back to News Valdosta. It's not only hurricane season, but mosquito season as well. The City of Valdosta offers these tips to citizens for them to do their part in keeping the mosquito population under control. Drain items around your property that may collect water. Especially with the rain the city has been receiving, items that hold water are the perfect breeding grounds for mosquitoes. Larvicide tablets are also available for free from the Public Works Department on Myrtle Street. School's out for the summer, so what does that mean for the kids of our community? Summer camp. Luckily, VSU has a summer camp program for kids. Here's reporter Victoria Golden with more. School is out, so what does that mean for the kids of Lowndes County? Each week, VSU summer camp offers six to eight camps for various age groups. Most of them are at the Continuing Education Center, while others are offered off-site. Um, this camp, um, I, I think it started probably um, three years ago. Um, this is my second time working at the camp. Um, and the camp is comprised of different um, activities that the children can do during the summertime. The youngest camp is called Kindergarten Ready for kids four to five years old on their way to kindergarten. And the camp is offered through the teen years. We were getting requests for some summer enrichment programs for kids, which are a little bit different than some of the other activities offered in the community, like the YMCA and the Boys and Girls Club. Um, the folks wanted something a little bit more educational based, and so we came up with this program. Anyone can sign up. It's on a first come, first serve basis. It starts June 2nd to July 25th. We try to get the word out as best we can by sending flyers to the schools and by mailing to past participants and you know radio and TV publicity where we can and press releases. So um, they can sign up online or give us a call or come by the office. VSU summer camp can be both fun and educational. With News Valdosta, I'm Victoria Golden. Express Employment Professionals has selected four Wiregrass students to receive scholarships of $500 each for summer semester. One of the primary criteria for the scholarship was outstanding worth ethics, along with the ability to be able to work well with others, attend a schedule, and be punctual. The educational scholarship will help students with expenses such as tuition, 
books, and supplies. Director for Wiregrass Foundation, South stated, the scholarships not only help the students achieve their educational goals, but also helps create growth in our local economy by providing a prepared workforce. It's early, but grab your best running shoes and mark your calendars. It's time to start preparing for Valdosta State University's 9th Annual 5K Blazer Dash. It will be held on Saturday, August 23rd at 7.30 a.m. Everybody will meet in front of the Recreation Center on Sestella Road. Registration fee includes a t-shirt and race entry. You must prepay for the race by Friday, August 22nd. There is a new and different way in which you can give back to the community. Reporter Tichelle Williams has more. There are many ways in which you can give back to the community. The Vadosta Lowndes County Library sets up a venue twice a week to host your not-so-typical book sale. The Backdoor Book Sale is a project of the library that the public can get involved with to help raise money for the library. Friends of the Library consists of people that live in Valdosta or in Lowndes County that are active and appreciate their library and want to support it. And one of the ways we do support is with the back door bookstore. As you can see, we have a lot of books here uh, that people have brought in to give us and then we in turn sell them. The book sale is always accepting donations of books, magazines, CDs, and DVDs. I think it's a wonderful idea for the library to do, not only to help the public out, but as well to help uh, the library in itself, the friends of the library. All the money generated from the book sale goes back to the library. You can stop by the Valdosta Lowndes County Library's Friends Book Sale, or you can drop off your donations. Everything is for a great cause. The bookstore is held every Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and every Saturday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. I'm Tichelle Williams for News Valdosta. Where do you purchase your textbooks at? It can be tough deciding where to spend your money on campus versus off campus at a nearby location. Watch how I take a look to see what each of them have to offer. I'm here at Valdosta State University where the comparison will be made between on-campus versus off-campus book prices. Valdosta State University's bookstore is open to all students during the summer semester. The bookstore also offers supplies such as book bags, school supplies, and clothing. The bookstore also offers the purchase of electronics such as the latest iPad. For recycling, a bin is located in the front entrance for easy disposal. They also accept several forms of payment such as cash, check, credit card, and the use of flex accounts. You're giving back to the university. It's important for the students to understand whenever you go off campus. I know it may be cheaper to the students at times that, um, to buy off campus, but when things are bought off campus, then it takes money away from the university. Dork's bookstore has two locations within a half mile of campus. They buy back books year round, every day, and all day. The better advantage of buying off campus is you've got the opportunity to buy used books and also rent used books. Here's two examples here. Uh, online journalism, the Hollywood Standard. You can rent the Hollywood Standard for the semester for about 10 bucks versus buying it new for about 25 and you can rent the online, online journalism for about 18 versus buying it for 45. Well, there you have it. Now you have the option to choose which bookstore you want to shop from. With News Vyasa, I'm Ashley Morrison. School's out and your children may be looking for summer activities to participate in. Valdosta's Turner Center for the Arts is holding an event called Heart and Soul of Art. Heart and Soul of Art is a mixed art class that teaches kids mosaics, tie-dye, printmaking, and more. The class takes place July 14th through the 18th from 10 a.m. to noon. It is taught by Jessica Atkins and cost for this class is $50. Supplies will be provided. The Vadasa State University Recreation Center is not just for faculty, staff, and students. Now Andrew has a story on how residents of Vadasa can enjoy the facility as well. I'm at Valdosta State University's Student Recreation Center. If you're not part of the staff or a student, well, you're in luck. This recreation center caters to the community as well. A facility supervisor here at the rec center, and I'm a junior and a pre-nursing major. Um, here at the rec center, we don't only just accept student, faculty, and staff to use our facility. We also accept all spouses and they can get a membership or anyone can be signed in as a guest. 
The Student Recreation Center is opened Monday through Sunday. Staff and students can work out for free. The Recreation Center also caters to the community of Valdosta and Lowndes County. The fee is $5 for non-students and non-staff members. You have to be at least the age of 17 years old to join. The Student Recreation Center has numerous fitness equipments and hosts several fitness classes that caters to all. I'm a student here at VSU. I work out about five times a week. It's nice to see other people in here besides just student and staff coming to get a nice little workout in. I'm reporter Andrea Bonaparte with News Valdosta. When we come back, Shaquille Lott will give us a look at our weather, so stay with us. Thank you for calling your GED pep talk center. All right, now, are you ready for your GED pep talk? Being nervous is okay. It just shows that you're serious about getting your diploma. All right, listen, we all need a little nudge sometimes. I don't function without coffee in the morning, but it is going to take more than a double mochaccino to help you here. A lot of things are scary. Heck, I'm scared of clowns. No quiero oír. Danny, no lo puedo hacer. Quiero oír. Danny, lo voy a hacer. DMC, liking your pep talk style. Just keeping it real, Deb. Just keeping it real. <laughs> louder! Louder! I'm going to get my G E D. Come on! Get your hey, G E D. Hey. Can you keep it down, Bubba? Whatever motivation you need, we've got a pep talk for you. Get your GED pep talk and find free classes at yourged.org. So, I got this new family, and I don't know what it is about this one, but she can't seem to put down that toy all day long. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, and she even talks to it. She talks to that more than she talks to him. What's up, bro? Nice shirt. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot. Welcome back to News Valdosta. Now let's take a look at the weather with Shaquilla Lott. Shaquilla, what's the forecast? Thanks, Ashley. Today's weather will be mostly sunny with a high near 93 degrees. However, there will be a 10% chance of rain. We may experience isolated showers and thunderstorms mainly after 3 p.m. It's unlikely that you'll get caught in heavy rain, but make sure you're prepared if you plan to go out. Tonight's temperature will drop down to 68 degrees and skies will be partly cloudy. This looks like perfect weather for a night out on the town. Tomorrow's high will reach 93 degrees and it will be rather sunny. A perfect day to go out for lunch with friends or even go to the park. Today's UV index is set in, at an 11, which is considered to be extremely high on the 12 point scale. If outdoors, wear protective clothing, apply a generous amount of sunscreen and stay in the shade when the sun is strongest. The pollen count is set at a 4.5, which is in the low to medium range. It will be increasing throughout the day due to rising temperatures. Consider staying from outdoors for an extended period of time, as well as take the necessary medicine to keep your allergies under control. That's all I have for weather today. Back to you ladies at the news desk. Thanks, Shaquilla. When we come back, Hannah Hedges will give us our rundown on sports. So stay with us. Body language. Without saying a word, it can tell you so much. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. F. Face drooping. A. Arm weakness. S. Speech difficulty. T. Time. Time to call 911 immediately. The sooner they get to the hospital, the sooner they'll get treatment. And that can make a remarkable difference in their recovery. Learn the body language, the sudden signs, and spot a stroke fast.
When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Welcome back. Now, let's check in with Hannah Hedges for our local sports. Hannah? Thanks, ladies. Do you want help learning how to swim? The Valdosta Lowndes County Parks and Recreation Authority pre presents swimming lessons starting June 13th through the end of July. Swimming lessons will take place at the Fry Street Pool. You can register at the Valdosta Lowndes Parks and Recreation Authority website. The Florida State women's basketball team is thrilled with the new announcement of the new assistant coach, Danielle Santos. Santos is known as an excellent recruiter and great coach to many guards. She has previous coaching experience with Illinois State and Kentucky and playing experience at the University of Florida. With a strong 2014 recruiting class, Santos hopes to help lead the Lady Seminoles to a great season. Former Miami Dolphins quarterback Dan Marino has confirmed that he is withdrawing from the concussion-related lawsuit he filed, last, he filed against the NFL in federal court just last week. Mar Marino said that he authorized a claim to be filed just in case he needed future medical coverage, but did not realize that he would be automatically listed as a plaintiff in a lawsuit against the NFL. He believes that it is not necessary for him to be a part of any claims or the lawsuit. Yesterday, the rising sophomore and former prized recruit Trey Matthews has been kicked off the UGA Bulldogs football team after a brief but troubled time. Coach Mark Rich says that the team needed to make room for players who will do things right. Matthews sent word to his 12,000 plus Twitter followers stating that Auburn or Louisville will be his new home. His departure continues an off season of attrition for Georgia's secondary. Yesterday, the annual Pigskin Preview took place at the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame. It features 18 college football teams from the state of Georgia. The University of Georgia, Georgia Tech, Georgia Southern, and Valdosta State were some of the participating universities. Coach David Dean represented VSU along with junior running back Cedric O'Neill. Back to you ladies at the news desk. Thanks, Hannah. When we come back, we'll give you the story on the South Georgia Classic Car Club. And Moody Air Force Base hosted an event last night to raise cultural awareness. Don't go away. We'll be right back. This is one amazing truffle tree. Can you imagine a place where these grow everywhere? Yes, it's called the forest. A magical place to enjoy with your family. So discover the forest and explore all the wonder that's there. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Welcome back to News Valdosta. If you're into cars and classics, you'll want to hear this. The South Georgia Classic Car Club has an active membership here in Valdosta and you can join in. Reporter Shaquilla Lott has more on the story. Every first Tuesday, members of the South Georgia Classic Car Club discuss upcoming events as well as ways to better the organization. The monthly meetings are often held at Austin and they begin promptly at 6.45 p.m. After starting with a prayer, which is then followed by a pledge to the American flag, the members dive right into discussing various topics ranging from the club's expenses to planning upcoming events. We do have several uh, important uh, activities uh, during the course of the year, so we're going to have a lot of uh, opportunity of spending some quality time together as members, planning some special events in our community. Uh, hopefully uh, everyone can participate and come out and see all of our old cars and ask a bunch of questions. Uh, 
The club not only has a passion for classic cars, but they also enjoy giving back to the community as well. Aside from the cars, we have some charities that we donate to and that we take care of. And this is one of the important things to us that we do on a community basis. And of course, the cars play a central role. We take our cars out to the, to the youth ranch at the, uh, uh, called the Boys Ranch. Uh, up in Ahira and give the kids rides and we just enjoy cars and we enjoy people. We invite anybody that's into these kind of things and likes cars, come out and join us. Every second Saturday, members gather at the Steak and Shake in Valdosta to showcase their rides to the public. The South Georgia Classic Car Club welcomes all enthusiasts to come to the meetings as well as to learn more about the car club. With News Valdosta, I'm Shaquille Lott. For Asian American Pacific Islander Month, Moody Air Force Base held a food tasting. The event allowed those who attended to taste foods from various countries as well as raise cultural awareness. Besides the food tasting, entertainment was provided such as modeling of authentic clothing, live music, and dancing. Members of the Filipino American Association of Southern Georgia and local restaurants collaborated with Moody to arrange the function. Have you heard of oil art? Turner Center for the Arts offers oil painting classes. Bay Bridges Hyatt teaches the classes. Classes are every Thursday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Prices depend on the number of classes per month and it also is due a month in advance. Anyone interested in learning to use oil paint can attend classes ranging from beginner to advanced students. Feel free to contact Turner Art Center to sign up. Ceramic artist Marty Hawthorne from Thomasville is working at the Turner Center for the Arts during the month of June. The citizen of Valdosta participates in Mosaics and Bass Relief Art Seminar. Here is Highland Park with more. Now I'm here at Turner Center for the Art. Today they open free seminar for the public. The seminar is about mosaic and bass relief art. Mosaics uh, is an art form where uh, you use small bits of material, uh, either stone or uh, sometimes glass is used or uh, ceramic uh, tiles. Uh, sometimes artists will make their own uh, uh, ceramic tiles uh, and, and then cut them into pieces, uh, large, large ceramic tiles and then cut them into pieces and put them back together. Um, uh, bar relief is a, uh, um, is a simulated uh, three-dimensional um, uh, sculpture that's, that's uh, usually on a flat surface. The host, Marty Hayton, gave a PowerPoint presentation that covering the history of these art forms. These art forms have a long-standing tradition in human civilizations. This seminar was a good chance to know about artistic tradition and major cultures. I think um, it's fascinating to think about the history of this town um, back into the, the age of the dinosaur and beyond. You know, when, you know, usually when we think of the South, we get stuck in the Civil War and just right beyond that. Feel free to join. For News Valdosta, I'm Helen Park. That's it for our program today. Thanks for watching News Valdosta. I'm Ashley Morrison. And I'm Andrea Bonaparte. We'll see you again tomorrow.